To make a veneer cut, I need the tabletop to be at zero degrees. Well, most saws, like my Craftsman, you set this at zero, and it's, it'll clearly say zero. But if you just trust that you're going to have a problem, it could be that the thickness of the veneer is going to be thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom, or vice versa. So the first step is set, the, set this pointer to zero, and then there's an adjustment screw that most people overlook or they have forgot about. Let me show you where that is. Once you set the table to indicate zero degrees, and you're going to have to make some fine-tuning adjustments, this actually lifts or drops this edge of the tabletop to adjust the fine-tune the zero degrees for the table. This will need to be adjusted while you're making sure that the tabletop and the blade are actually 90 degrees. The fence doesn't have to be ex expensive. I'm on a budget. Many of you are too. What you want is the face of the fence and the board that you're going to clamp to the table to be 90 degrees. Taking some scrap, I've trued them up on my real alarm saw, and then once I've screwed the fence into the clamp board, I actually had to go get some shim stock, this is balsa, and placed it at the top, screwed it down, and then remeasured again and made sure that the face of the fence and the, what I'm clamping to the tabletop are 90 degrees. With that, I'm going to then attach them with clamps. There's a number of tools on the internet that you can buy. One is a, a ruler with a magnet and it clamps to the blade and it makes sure that the, the ruler is parallel to the blade. I don't have a magnet, but I've got a straight edge. But I typically lay straight edge down, looking straight down, I can tell when it's parallel. And then it's a matter of measuring either side. This gap to face fence to ruler edge, face fence to ruler edge is the same. If it's not, you need to adjust it just to, for the cut that you're intending to do. Remember, the eighth inch cut is the distance between the blade edge and the face fence. You may actually have to make a test cut uh, depending on the width of the curve of the blade. Some are, a finer tooth blade would be have less curve, and a, a blade like this is only six teeth per inch. It, it has a wider curve, and you want to have enough material left over that when you send it down, it actually gives you the the width of the veneer that you want. That sets this fence up. How do you know that you're making a 90 degree and even 90 degree cut and that it's going to be even all the way up and down? The tried and true method is once you've installed your fence and you have the width set, you'll make a cut this way. So you've made a kerf cut and then you'll turn the block around and back it in with the saw off and we bring it back and make sure that the blade fits in the same curve that we just cut if it does then the width is correct the tables at zero degrees if not you need to adjust the set screw before cutting my veneer I know it's going to be an eighth inch thick what I want to do is get a straight edge and mark a guideline on the top of the board. This line will help me guide, make sure that I, I can see the top because I'm pushing against the bottom, against the fence, but the top, I want to make sure that I'm, the blade's tracking right, so it's always good to have a guideline for tr guiding the board and making the beer and air cut. The fence is parallel to the blade, and once that's set, it's also 90 degrees to the tabletop. Next, I need a bit of assist to help hold 
the board is being cut into a veneer in place. So it is clamped in parallel to the fence and there's just about a sixteenth of an inch gap here uh, clearance. It doesn't it hold it tight. And remember when the blade passes through the board on the back side, on this side, the board's going to spring apart a little bit and you want just a, a little bit of gap there so it doesn't clamp the board down. It needs to have a little bit of play, not a whole lot. But that's how this the, the guide on this side is set. What, to start the veneer cut, you're going to hold the board with the hand and start it in there. And then your hand, I, I do this. Uh, these two fingers, my thumb and, other, and one of my fingers is down here holding the board firmly against the fence. This finger is uh, making some adjustment as it goes through and what you want to look for is to keep that blade equal distance from this side of the board. You can't bring this all the way, this guide all the way up because it'd be in the way. I suppose you could, that's just not how I do it. But I do a slight correction with this finger, just keeping the uh, pressure on it to make sure that this saw kerf is going straight. And then as the blade, the board presses in, you're guiding it through, it finally comes to a point uh, when it's in, you want to make sure you're not going to get your fingers in the way. I have a push stick. This, this will then push the board all the way through keeping both these fingers on the downstream side and my other fingers are out of the way because I have a push stick until it finally comes through and when it happens the blood, the, you turn the saw off and you're done with the cut. So I've, I've cut the veneer that I want. It's about an eighth of an inch thick on the inside. It's, this is the finished side that of the board as bought from the lumber store store it's it's really nice and smooth you'll feel the roughness inside because of the saw curve of the blade it'll be less rough if you had a finer tooth uh, band saw blade you can tell where I get off a little bit uh, it just takes just a, a little bit of sanding on this to get it to uh, smooth out that's what you can do with a band saw Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.